So this is a little bit of information for Z4 owners. We all know about the roof motor problem where the roof motors get full of water because the drains get blocked and then it kills off the electric motor which then stops the roof working, which this one's had. But more and more we're seeing reports of customers saying that they've got a sloshing noise from inside the car, water moving around and also water entering the cabin and a lot of um, bad smells and mold developing inside the convertible cars of the Z4 and we're pretty sure we know so it's obviously the drain drain tubes that block underneath the roof system so that's the left hand side there with all that nasty milky water there and already on this car yesterday we've blown compressed air underneath the car through the bottom of the drain tubes right up and would assume that it was all unblocked and dry but as you can see there must be so much matter at the bottom of this puddle um, that it's totally blocked and what's happening we believe is that when the water overflows this little pocket area because the bungs full up then it's overfilling into the chassis in behind the back seat area here and water's traveling down into the seals so you can hear water sloshing around sometimes when you're stopping and starting the car driving uh, and braking and then also the water is traveling behind the carpet area and behind the back seat area gets quite wet and also the airbag satellite modules are down on the B pillar and they also get effective which is sometimes why the airbag lights come on and then don't go off so we've got that roof motor there which is obviously dead and it can have a problem with uh, the hydraulic lines as well sometimes and then also on the right hand side this is the one where the drains are accessible from up above and down below and we've done the compressed air from underneath the car as well but yet still this drain is blocked as well so you see some sort of corroded water in there but that's just from the hinges because they're metal and they sit down in that area and then you can see that that sort of plastic bucket which is now full of water where the drain should be at the bottom it doesn't extend very high so when the water like in this case is absolutely full it overflows that plastic bucket and go straight down into other chassis voids which then end up going down through bungs and holes and end up in the seal of the car and also behind the driver's seat area which is why the carpets get wet so if you're experiencing wet carpets or moldy smells in there then it's more than likely all to do with these roof drains and no matter how hard you try and clean them out from underneath as we've just proved with compressed air going up from the bottom it's still totally blocked so the best and only way is to take the roof off and uh, and clean them out manually. And if you're really unlucky and the water's been there for a long time, like you can see the tide mark on this motor has, the motor's in that case there. These are all the hydraulic pipes. And then this unit up here is called the hinge system. And that's the hydraulic cylinder or the piston for the uh, left-hand side, passenger side. There's two pipes there that come out of it. And if you're really unlucky, the pipe will, the metal pipe will just corrode to nothing because it's been sat in water all this time. So we're just going to connect a, a battery to it, power it up and see where the leak comes from. So you see that pipe, there's nothing left of it. All the fluid is leaking out, which should be traveling through these hoses to power the roof up and down. So the motor in this instant is working, but the, um, the hydraulic cylinder, which is the hinge, and piston and pipe set is probably going to need to be renewed and whilst you're here even though that motor is working I think every customer would or owner would agree that it's sensible time to do that motor at the same time.